Light, okay. It's just dark. T a lot. Thirty four D. Um, thank you. Thanks for coming oh, to the meeting yeah, spot. No problem. No problem. Uh, can we get the show on the road though? Absolutely. Because uh, my wife's at home cooking some spaghetti, and I don't want it to get cold. Look at me, my friend. Yeah. Nice to see you talking here. You didn't bring no cops, did you? <laughs> Fuck off, man. You know. <laughs> you know that's not how I'm gonna play today. You have to tell okay, me. Okay, you you're the cops, one who's though. the former cop. Okay, <laughs> you're the one who's the former cop. That's true. I used to I, be. A I've cop. been in crime for 20 years. Okay. I'm fairly new to crime. I grew up in Manhattan. But uh, I used to take. I used to take people out. I used to shoot people. I used to shoot people who were doing crimes because you know I was what? a cop. You're but being really I... disrespectful right now by looking at the wall while you're talking to me. You turn your ass around and stare into my eyes. Here's the thing, though. Turn your ass around and stare into these eyes. Here's the thing, though. If there's one person you can trust, it's the man who used to, it's the man who used to shoot cops. Hey. Or the man who used to, who's the cop, it's the cop who used to shoot your kind. <laughs> Hold up. I smell something that I don't want to smell. It smells like toast. Is your wife making toast? My mom, my wife isn't here. Where is she at? Dead. How long have she been dead? Some corrupt cop, cops shot her. Sorry to hear that. 17 years ago. Why do you think I started becoming a corrupt cop myself? Because of your wife's situation? Hold up, I still smell it. Smells like toast. Smells like rats. <laughs> Are you ratting me out to the federal rebellion of the instigation? All right. Are there wiretaps in here? Listen, I'm going to tell you one last time. Is there a wiretap in of here? Of course not. Check me. You okay. think I'm wired? You check me. Let me fix your collar. Looks stupid. What's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal? What's the All deal? All right, so huh? this is what I'm thinking. Okay. The bank closes at 7. Hmm. What I want to do is I want to rob the bank at 7.30 after they're all gone. See, I used to know a guy that worked at the bank. He said the security isn't good. He said the security is, uh, we'll call it lax. And what I want to do is I want to go in there. No guns! No guns. What I want to do is I want to go in there, get into the computer system, take a little swipe at that. I'm a criminal, but I'm also a digital guy. Hmm. Okay? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So you're saying with the power of hacking, we could get in no blood on these hands. Well, it's a little bit, we get inside physically, and then we hack digitally. <laughs> my oh my, have times changed since when I was a cop, and guys just put on bags on their heads. You had to go, pow, die! And with these fake, I got these fake glasses that yeah. kind of make me look more like a computer guy, you So see? let's role play this, my friend, do a little bit of theater. You know, before <laughs> my wife died, she was in the ballet. And she was great at the theater of the dance. So let's practice this. How do you go in? No men, just your USB stick and your Apple Watch. How do you get all the money out? How do we as criminals make the biggest withdrawal ever? Money that ain't ours. I'm the teller. You tell me what's going on. Welcome to the big bank, Apple State, New York. How can I help you, sir? Hi, I'm here with the Smithsonian account. Um, I'm actually looking to uh, withdraw some, f oh, you're closed. I could come back if you're busy. Bam, you're dead. You don't go to a bank when they're closed. Trust me, I'm a cop. I've seen these things. Fuck. One of the biggest rookie mistakes is you go to a closed bank, you act like it's Omen. They're going to see you right, right through you. I'll do it again. Try I'll it, do again. it again. Try it again. Step two. Okay. It's uh, Monday now. It's Monday. Ah, my day at the oh, bank. Good oh, good morning. How are you? Hi. <laughs> you seem a little over eager, uh, sir. No, I'm not. I'm just happy to be here. Bam! Ah! Okay. Do not okay. smile okay. in a bank. You do okay. not smile okay. in a bank. You do not cry in a bank. You do not ask God for forgiveness in a bank. They know you're a bad guy. Bam! You're dead. Try it again. Tuesday. It's Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. We just closed. I mean, we just... It's 10.43 a.m. 
It's 10.43 a.m. Welcome to the bank. I'm, a, I'm the bank teller. Yeah, hey, how you doing? Hey. Uh, just I'm um, with the Smithsonian account. I just want to withdraw some funds. Ah, uh, the Here's museums my, from my uh, Washington, D.C.? Here's my slip. Hmm. And you can see, the, how does that look for you? That's a lot of money to withdraw. Would what you, are you guys doing? Uh, we're actually building a new uh, exhibit with uh, airplanes. Huh, I'm a big fan of airplanes. What's the maker model? Orville Wilbur Wright. Bam! No, 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 no not Blam! No. Why are you saying Blam? Orville because, Wilbur Wright! Yes! They're airplanes. They're good airplanes. But they are already they're in the good museum. They're good airplanes. They're already in the museum. It's the new one. You have, no, they just no discovered new, a new one. They've been dead for 70 years, you flat No, foot. you know what? We may not be able to do this together because we're not on the same page. Let's try it for a fourth okay. time. I got to tell you, some of these seasoned criminals, they smell, like, they smell more like rat toast than an amateur chick given Hey Jays at the Bonne, at the bon Me store. Ah, if you can't get this right, I'm going to have to strike a deal with someone else and then kill the competition. Blam. Hey, how's it going? Hey there. I'm actually looking to do a withdrawal today. Okay, how much? It's not much, like six fifty. dollars All righty. Do you need access to our computers? If you don't mind, just okay, push yeah, take it. your keyboard. This is my laptop. Please do whatever you want. All right. If you need help with login. Also, I could get you some Capri Suns. What's your, uh, just... Out of curiosity, what's your favorite sports team? Oh, probably the Marsupian Tong Tong. Marsupian Tong Tong, class of 86. Best player. And, and just, are you, were you, uh, you went to Manhattan High? Yeah, I went to Manhattan High. Uh, the Manhattan High Trojans. PS46 Trojans. The Trojans. Yeah, because we got in and out without people ever knowing. Also, the cum was kept inside. Also, the cum was inside the condom. Also, whenever we had sex, the cum stayed inside the condom. <laughs> PS46, the Trojans, my favorite well, Actually, team. here's your laptop back, oh, sir. Oh, thank you. This is an Apple iMac. Turns out I iBook. actually don't even need uh, the withdrawal. Really? Um, I could just loan you some money if you'd like. Don't even worry about it. But we're with the Smithsonian. We have a new exhibit you should check out. Oh, what is it in? It's actually Orville and Wilbur Redenbacher. Oh, uh, the new plane? <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the Dow. I'm going to see Big Thief. I'll talk no, to you no, later. Wow, Big Thief. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Then, though, in that moment, the teller thinks to themselves, have I been the small fish fucked over by the big thief? That big, big, big thief fucking me over as a small fish. But you know what, kid? You're the expert criminal, and I was giving you smack. You're one of the best criminals I've ever seen. Only took you four tries to rob the entire bank and learn hey, two passwords. you're busting my balls a little bit, giving me a hard time, but I respect that. I picked up fuckers like you, shoved them in my yeah. wagon, and extorted them for favors, sexual and marital. Okay. Yeah. I had some of these hey, fuckers, look. I had some Mexicans, I had them play a band. Hey, they, none Ju of them knew how to play instruments. Giuliani changed New York. That's you know? true, New York. Uh, Giuliani came and he cleaned up New York. You know, there was so much shit going down. Good thing we got uh, Rudy out here just cleaning up the streets of New York. I know. And now, September 9th, 2001, seems like nothing but a great future for everyone, including the, pr the criminals like us and former cops. <laughs> hmm. Everything seemed to be smelling like roses. Toasted roses. Or was there a rat in the sky? End of scene one. Now, Joey, you're not feeling weak around the gills, are you? Of course not, man. Don't worry I need about you to be the big, hairy cock Italian man you are. Don't worry about it, man. I'm loaded with cock, okay? okay? Let's get a little more here. I'm going to stand there. Nice and think, place. In case things go it smells sour. Smells good in here. And that's right. I think they put some of those car fresheners up on the window. Make you feel like you're driving around in a uh, cab. I'm feeling like I got the... I got the, I got the glitzy shakes, okay? And my leg is jumping. I'm worried. I carry my big magnum in case things go a little smelly, in case things get spicy. I'm not afraid to start shooting everyone here. Who's the master from the bucket cap? Hmm. Some kind of big Texan oil baron, I believe. You see a lot of those types come to New York. 
They want to watch those country shows that we put on at the country mm, bars. TCM, mm. more like Turner Classic movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my family likes. Yeah. Most things under the Turner umbrella. Right. My kid's been watching this internet show. It's called Blood Feast, where they solve the New York Times crossword. Right, I hear my kids too. They won't stop talking about it. Max and Dave, Max mm. and Dave. Oh, like... Do you hit your kid? If they make you angry? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I do this. I, ki I hit my kid. Yeah. Because they piss me off. I once put my daughter in the uh, laundry machine. <laughs> spin cycle? <laughs> uh, reminds me of that no spin zone. What was his name? Chris Matthews. All righty. I'm going to go sit down with my big piece. You talk to this sniveling little wiener. And then remember, things go spicy. I'll shoot everyone in the whole block. And we'll hide in the underground. In this play called Underbelly, colon, The Robbery of September 9th, 2001. Good luck. Okay. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, welcome to New York Bank of New York. Oh, thank you. I'm actually with the Smithsonian. Withdrawal or deposit? Uh, withdrawal, actually. Uh, All right, fill out new, this form. Uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was trying to say to you. We've, we have an airplane exhibit. Uh, called the Or Redenbacher or really? Wilbur and Irville, and I'm. I just visited the Smithsonian Museum exactly. and their Warville Redenbacher exhibit. We just started exhibit. putting it together, and uh, I'm just gonna fill out this paperwork. And I was wondering if if I could use your Mac Pro for a second. My Mac Pro. Is that a Mac Pro or is that a... Oh, it's just a keyboard attached to your computer. Just You want to use my computer to I, do your banking? I think that's what I'm getting at right now. It's just a matter of... Uh, I am, after all, from the Smithsonian. Mm. And I um, just want to slide over the keyboard. I could possibly use it. All right, here you go. Oh, thank you. Okay. I'm just going to go into the back. Yeah. Matter of fact, I do. What's your name, sir? Hi, I'm Austin from San Antonio. Yeah, well, they call me Ricky McFilligan. Used to be a cop. Nowadays, just dress nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boys in blue, I see. What's your favorite cop thing? You probably made a good sheriff. Yeah, I love the law. I love the law. If loving the law's wrong, I don't want to be right. What's your trade? I was goofing with my pal over there, Joey Leguizamo. Just say I'm in the oil business. That's what I said, in the oil business. Yeah, yeah, struck it rich down there in uh, just south of San Antonio, you know, the big rigs. You see my big piece? Oh my, that's a mighty beautiful piece you got there. Yeah, Magnum 78. I was gonna guess Smith & Wesson, but I see you got a big old Magnum on your hip there. Just in case things go wrong, New York City ain't as safe as it used to be in the 90s. Right. I see. They got a. Uh, they're pretty lenient on the conceal and carry license here, aren't yeah, they? That's right. Yeah, they're very lenient. All right. It's a real shiny gun you got. Uh, yeah, very shiny. It's a real nice piece. Oh, it's going... Hey, Joey, is it going okay? Yeah, very nice piece. You Don't know that worry. failure over there? I got uh, you know, he's not a man I've ever seen before. Uh, and his little mallet he's got, I know nothing about. Uh, tell her. How did your banking go? Uh, I was just wondering if I could um, Can I, uh, use your iPhone for a moment. My iPhone. Did you happen to get a little code on there? Six-digit code? Six-digit code on your iPhone. Hmm. Well, yes, actually, yes. Would you mind reading off the numbers to me? Hmm. I just need it just for the Smithsonian. I am, after all one of Manhattan's wealthiest elites. Well, in that case, it's one, three, six, five, two, one. You didn't even have to tell me, fella. Saw it in reflection in your eyes. Wh wh what is the, what is going on? Wait a second. Why are you typing so fast? Oh, shit. Excuse me, sir. Uh, you I have to, to stop, stop uh, typing I immediately. Go take a shit piss in the other hey. room. Uh, 
Don't listen to Here's me. Here's your uh, keyboard. Nice back. to meet you, San Antonio. Thank you so oh, much. I actually uh, just had to check my Facebook. Oh, guys, big news! Big news! Hey. Uh, I hear no, this. Sir, I'm in uh, line. Sir, uh, I'm in excuse line. me, no, uh, sir. I'm please, I'm please, please let me help the customer. Uh, excuse me, I hear the. Please excuse uh, me, sir. sir. There's a hippopotamus in the street. All going there's according a, to plan. I'm trying to distract it's him. All going according to plan. I'm gonna have to kill him. I'm gonna have to kill him. I don't understand. If I can't distract him by saying there's a hippopotamus in the street, no, don't make me slap you. Why'd you slap me, Dick? Uh, please, I don't, gentlemen, uh, take this outside. Sir, there's a hippopotamus in the street. People right slap over there. Each other in this bank over office. there. Well, I'll tell you what, I ain't never seen it nobody see slap it. nobody in this It's not bank on us, before. it's on them, and then when it comes to the this I'll kill you. Guy must be but then I'll kiss you. Friggin from downtown or something, maybe Williamsburg or something, comes in here in his velvet jacket. And it's like, take off your pants and jacket, Blink-182. I heard of that neighborhood. Is that where the archetypes yeah. are from? Yeah, up some, here? some archetypes. It's not a big deal. You get slapped in a bank, it's not a big deal. Things like that happen. The hippo's right back. They're right out there on the street. Yeah. There's a hippo. This transaction sure does seem to be taking a while, but... Over I promised your friend out of Joey, nice Joey, we're, ca we're caught. We're stuck. Joey, we're caught. There's no hippopotamus Joey, there. Joey, we're clamped. We've been caught. Bam! Oh, hold on. Yeah. Cut, cut to me. Oh. Oh, you knocked him out. Joey, this has gone spicier than I thought it would. I'm gonna have to kiss him. Why? Because it's respectful. Why? In Irish culture, when somebody dies, you kiss him. But he's not, he looks weird. He doesn't seem like he's proper. Give me that, give me that cumber. Give me the cumber. Give me the shovel. Give me the shovel. No, please, give me the... I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Okay, here. Open. I'm gonna open it up. Now, we'll, now he's quiet. This is what happens when we break the law. No, this is not... This, I'll tell you what happened. I got all the... Ow. Get out. Sorry. But this is what happened. You got in the system. But did you get the money? And I moved the money, okay? Where did you move the money? You said we were taking the I money. I moved it to my savings account uh -huh. for the time being. We'll split it later, but don't worry, buddy. Oh, it's no. in my savings account. Sounds hey. kind of spooky to me. Hey. Sounds like spooky business. Hey. You wop. What? Yeah, I said <sighs> it. You go around whopping people with your hammer. I don't trust you anymore. As a former cop named you know Ricky what? McFilligan, and your name's Joey Leguizamo. I've been talking to my friend down at the office who's good friends with Rudy, and he's offered me a job in the top of the tower. <laughs> and I'm thinking I might take it and get out of crime entirely. Well, you know what? Look at me here, Joey Leguizamo. I might take, I might just, you know what? Okay. Take all the money. I'll give it all, put it all on your account, and then I'll go take my real world job on top of the WTC. Well, you meet me at the McDonald's right by the WTC in what two time? days at around the time when the planes eventually hit. Nine-ish. Yeah, something like that, I don't remember. And uh, you give me all that money and you say goodbye to crime as I embrace it more as we do opposite paths. I'm done with crime. Well, I'll see you. And I'm getting a whopper from McDonald's so I don't get a whopping from you. Now you can do your song. You can do the song you do. I'm thinking about getting a job in the real world, sick of this life of crime. Some will say that crime always pays, but I'm tired of doing time. I spent my money on booze and women. I spent my life afraid. I'm sick of feeling like a dead old dog. I'm sick of never getting paid for good things that I do for you and good things that I do for me. I take my time and I feel all right as I drink in lime made.
the soft serve machine was broken again. This is a pretty good McDonald's. I wasn't sure. Uh, it's not the one that I usually go to, but this cheeseburger is just the way I like it. Back where I used to live, they're turning a bank into a McDonald's, what with all the foreclosures of 2008, now that, that are coming in Man, seven years. Bernie Madoff, Enron, Big Thief, Love Feast, all the things going on in the future. It's amazing to think our future is wide open. Uh, my future is wide open. In your future, you know, you have $675,000 that you didn't have before. Certainly weren't getting that on your uh, uh, salary. Speaking of, where is it? Here. It's on my iPhone. Is it all the access codes to the accounts I can call? Yeah. And I'll hear the voice of a woman, and she'll tell me that I have access? You Let got me do it. the dial. I think I'll do it. 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 You know, I loved being your lover. Best love I've ever had in my life. I was fulfilled. It's ringing. You don't find that every day. I have Shut a wife who loves me. Cook I know. spaghetti, but I know. doing I know. business with you is like being in love a little bit. Yeah. As lovers. I, I would always say that. New York. I'm on the lovers. line. Okay. New York lovers. The city that never sleeps because we always make in love. Love in crime. Love in hate. Love in marriage. Love in police work. Yeah. Love in banks. Love even at the Whopper Center, McDonald's. Somebody be the woman on the phone? Hello? Sir this is Bank of New York. Hey, I'd like to confirm that this phone comes with the access codes to 650,000 US dollars, mint. That is correct. Thank you, I'm gonna come pick it up at the lockbox. Have a paper out for me, also a Diet Coke in a can, also a bottle of water, also three napkins. Yes, sir. It's a hot September 11th, isn't it? Quite hot. Things end. Things begin again. I had a relationship with a man that started right, in a goodbye. path. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you. I'm in, well, I have to keep this for the access codes. I'll just... No, but I have to keep it for the But I'm when I go to Big Thief, I'm yeah, going to take pictures. Because it's not about Big Thief know, right but now. I'm going to take pictures. Right now. Right. It's the play called Underbelly. Just give it to me before I head out the down. September 9th robbery of the bank. Big right. Thieves. Well, you say hi to your wife. I hope you like your new job. You got a good view? Uh, it's actually 89th floor, believe it or not. Uh, and I'm afraid of heights. But you never know where life is going to take you. I thought maybe I was going to retire to some island somewhere. Hmm. But I took the middle road a road often traveled. You're joining society again, and here I am, dappered and velvet and with a few hundred thou, 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 thou more. My wife's dead, my kid's beaten and bruised, but these McDonald's fries, there's a reason they're the best. And you were the best too, Joey Leguizini. And my flabber to meet you, and flattered to have worked with you for the love of the crime. Let's play Underbelly for the love of the crime. Now we wiggle. But in that moment, I felt tears because he represented not only love I lost, but a love and love for life that was life that I couldn't have anymore ever since I became a pimp cop, former cop pimp. The whole building's shaking. Oh, what's that? The whole building's shaking. The whole shaking. building's shaking. We looked outside and what we saw, two steel birds.
Oh my God, shall we? <laughs> it's the September 11th terrorist attacks. Guys, awesome map. I'll send a video. And in that moment, I saw behind me the ghost of a man. I was the accomplice to the killing. Hey, what's of. up, dude? Austin from San Antonio. <laughs> And I said to myself, passed out on the floor of this McDonald's while thousands of Americans burnt and fell to their death. I thought to myself, am I not also a killer of the September 11th attacks from the robbery under Bell September 9th? And I learned a big twist. While the teller, whom I jammed full with the cam hammer, and the Austin, Texas man were both there as spirits before me. Why? Why have I killed you for, and who are you for real? Yeah. You, Austin Yeah, I don't Teller. care. I don't care. Just, What's the big secret that you really are? I'm going to go to the show. I'm... No, for him. You have no <coughs> secret. We know you're just knowing little wiener. The only thing I ate today was and then a philosophy. But you, come and have a secret. what's your secret? I'm just hungry. I'm a... I'm a... Well, I'm a dirty, I dirty, I bad, bad man, and I do you know, I sometimes all the dirty life. work for the old boys down in Texas. I'm, Crime comes in know, all corners. Probably genetic, and then capitalism, and bike riding, and terrorism, it's not nefarious, it's not a greedy, <laughs> poverty. It's not a big, no, really. Um, but I gotta go because I'm the work I do fueled big thief. And the work I do fueled those planes. Indie rocker. My head hurts. And folk. then the lights went out. They're so Because Anna hit good. the button for the Everywhere. lights. Everywhere. It's a variety playhouse. Look, I don't know. My head hurts. Lights came back up when we all bowed. Sam, the show. You guys sucked. You guys blew it. Did Dave, did Dave really just walk out on the whole fucking show? Did Dave walk out on the whole show? Did you even do the crossword? Did you finish it? You didn't even finish the crossword. And Dave walked out on the show. This was his big night. This was his big friggin' night. And he walked.